Thank you, Chairman. I uh, just wanted to take a moment to respond to Senator Blackburn because I am very sympathetic to her frustrations. Um, as to the blue slip itself, there was an error. The chairman has apologized. I would hope that that would be behind us. The significant question here is the question of the blue slip. And as I think my colleagues will recall, nobody warned and warned and warned of what the decision by the Republicans on this committee to end the blue slip meant than I did. I warned over and over again. I begged and pleaded that you not do this. But you chose to do that. And that's where we are right now. The promise was consultation. There was consultation, as I understand it. But if we still had the blue slip, you wouldn't have to have an argument about whether the consultation was sincere or real or meaningful or not. No blue slip, no recourse. If we still had the blue slip, you wouldn't be in this position. For those states where there's a bipartisan committee that recommends judges, like California has had for a long time, I know, there's no point to the bipartisan committee with no blue slip because if we agree that we want to go outside that process, we just, the majority puts the, the judge through. In fact, in one case, there was real debate whether the judge was even from the state. We all have seats that we consider to be associated with our states, but that's a convention that we enforce through the blue slip. In some respects, Senator Blackburn is lucky that this nominee is actually from her state, right? Because without the blue slip, there's nothing that would prevent a lawyer from Brooklyn or Palo Alto who is willing to move somewhere in the Sixth Circuit from getting this position. So I think the damage that was done to this institution by the decision to remove the, blue slip, the institution of this committee by the decision to end the blue slip was very real. And now your side is feeling the pain of it that we have felt for the past administration. And all I can say is I would like to find a solution to it, but I'll tell you what the solution is not. The solution is not that when there's a Republican president, there are no blue slips for circuit court judges. And then when there's a Democrat president, suddenly they're blue slips again. That's not the solution. So let's try to work our way through this to a solution that we can find that actually restores the role of this committee, but does not make it that there are separate rules for Republican presidents and Democratic presidents. If we had not changed the rule, we would not be in this position. I couldn't have warned more often. I couldn't have begged and pleaded more sincerely. And here we are.